Hello Mila, hello Jack, hello everybody else who's watching and welcome to Storytime with Grandad. Today's book is called If I Met a Lion. I often wonder what I'd do if I met a lion. Would I be brave or would I be scared or would I run away crying? I'd have to be strong and show no fear. I'd have with me all my gear. I'd flash my sword. That'd give him a fright. He'd run away shaking into the night. I could sneak up behind him on my tippy toes. Then, using a slingshot, fling a stone at his nose. I could also decide to lay down a net made from the strongest of twine. He'd step on the net, it would close around him, and victory would be mine. Big cats don't like water, this everyone knows. I could spray him from far, with my long garden hose. They don't like loud noises or things that go bang. I could bash on mum's pots with a spoon, clang clang. Or perhaps I'll decide not to eat for three days. My belly would surely start shrinking, then I'd open my jaws, wrap them around him, and swallow him without even blinking. But a better idea would surely be to give the lion some food. He'd stuff himself silly, then take one look at me, saying, Now I'm not in the mood. If the lion I met was actually a cub, I'd know just what to do. Put a dummy in his mouth and sing him to sleep. Oh cutie, I have no fear of you. Or if that lion was a lady, a big lioness, I'd pick her some flowers and do a little dance. And surely she'd say, I'm impressed. The best would be if I called mum and dad. They'd definitely sort him out. Dad would chase him. Mum would chew him away. OK, I'm going, the lion would say. At the end of the day, I don't need to feel fear, because I know that in truth, there are no lions here. The end. Goodbye, Mila. Goodbye, Jack. We'll see you soon. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.